buckwheat side to go. Wow. wow. It's kind of yeah. a big deal. That is. And it's just a cool thing. And it's it's it works because there are very smart people who take their work seriously, mm. take their creativity seriously. And we just talked earlier about producers and artists yeah. working together. Right, right. Uh, they know their job. They know what they're after. They help each other do it. Mm. Right. And that's why the studio's been around for such a long time. And this particular record is interesting. This is the single that we just listened to, and the, the whole record's going to come out next January. But it's all about that whole Hurley Mountain area, which is full of history, American history, farms, uh, sustainability, all this kind of cool stuff. Wow. And it's, so it's, it's an organic record, if you will. Now, tie it yeah. into the Central New York music scene. Because this, yeah, there it's, is an interesting little story behind that. That is true, too. And, and Professor Louie, I've been bringing him here for 20 years, and um, every time he comes here, there's just another musician, it seems, that wants to sit in and play. And Louie, again, when you work with professional people, mm. they, they share their stage, they share their talent. Yeah. So we've done many shows, and guys like Todd Hoban, uh, Skip Murphy... Uh, Jeff Stockham, one oh, of the wow. best horn players ever in the world, plays with him. Wow. And uh, whenever we do shows around the region, uh, around the country sometimes, we put the horn section on there. Jeff Stockham and Mike DeBanowitz and some of these other guys, John Roby. Okay. Um, all Central New York guys. And um, Louis sends them the charts. They are professionals. They know the charts. They know the music. And it works. And, and come do the job That's yeah they awesome. do the job and when you're a touring musician and you can go someplace uh, the music world is is based on trust yes and confidence and relationships and if you trust somebody that they're going to play your music mm -hmm. do it right show, show up dressed and, and ready to go and ready to go yeah you sleep at night and you do it again. Mm. And and you as know? and as that guy that's showing up like that, you get continuation of work. Yeah, you, you do. You do. In fact, I know they've used some of these guys on other sessions and things. That's awesome. Nice. Um, and so when we were talking about earlier off air about the the A list talent that we have in Syracuse. Mm. Yes. Uh, one of the things I love to do is is always put them on a show. If I have a national show, I always try to have an, a a Central New York opener. Mm -hmm. um, and then Great. very Thank often. You. Uh, what works very well is if, and then they're always A-list people. So we often work out where the headliner and the opener. We sit backstage, and I just say, "Look, you guys feeling it? You want to play together? That's awesome. Make that happen. Make some magic And there happen. is magic when that happens because then I sit back and I say, "Okay, we're we try to create something you can't get anywhere else. Right. Yeah. This is a special moment. Yeah. Right. Um, and then when the sparks fly, if if a local opener plays with a national act. And and that's and that's really you know. slim. Oh, yeah. That's that's the formula or a formula for taking the ceiling off of yeah. the of New York artists oh, yeah. and then really breaking through to that national level. And and we talked. I think it, man, it's about seven eight weeks ago now. Mike Donahue, he was in the in the big chair, and we yep. talked about that. You know, just about local artists and their ability to jam with other artists yeah, yeah because they're open to all these influences yeah right yeah. and you realize right. then how smart they are and look you know we, we've all been around the country there's great talent all around the country sure. and i see people from pittsburgh or los angeles or little rock playing in other places mm -hmm. yeah all right they're no better it's, than talent we have here it's global it it is music global. is global it transcends yeah. ages mm -hmm. generations mm -hmm. music is global and when you know your instrument yeah and really really have a good foundation yeah. that's something our executive producer talks all the time about you know his experience in the music business and you know an artist that knows their instrument when they come to a session it's not a lot of okay. extra yeah. here's your chords listen to it groove with it get into it and next thing you know i'm like oh, Damn. wow wow yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah they, and then you know you just had a you know a moment there yeah, yeah. you know and yeah. you got it and it does my heart good to see any local musician make good in the world lauren and mark um two of the best guitar mm. players on the planet mm. yeah happened to you know mark, mark is from new zealand but lauren's from here it is awesome to see them play around the world wow. now you have them coming yeah. up don't you we just did two shows we just had okay. them uh two shows we had one at down at the homer center for the arts right which has got to be on our radar it is a special place down there really? um, wow. yeah they are really a special place it's an old church okay and lauren and mark and we also um 
put on a young lady, Alana Marie Boudreau. Yeah, we play her on yes. the show. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you should. Yeah, and, yeah we love um, her music. I had just met her at this show. Mm. And again, it was it was dynamite. She did an opening set, and she came back and played with those guys. Oh wow! It was awesome, and she's the real deal. Wow. Yeah, she's I, the real I deal. She just won a Sammy. Yeah, we yeah, had uh, Jeremy Johnston. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. Subcat, and yeah. he's the one that introduced us to yeah. her. And she was actually at the time on tour over in Europe. Yeah, yeah, for our show, I think. And, oh, and, wow. and Jeremy's a smart for our show, I think. And, oh, and, wow. and Jeremy's a smart guy. Jeremy's awesome to to work with. I've worked with him for a while. Uh, yeah, yeah. So we're coming up. We got about sixty seconds left, right? So, so tell us, man, what um, what's what's on what's on the stove right what's on now? The spotlight. What, what's, oh, on, what's on the front what's on burner? The on the front burner. Yeah, yeah. I front, wonder, what's on the front, front burner. burner? I want to know what's on the back burner and what you're planning on putting in the burner and what you're planning on putting in the. That's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> now, now we're down to ten seconds. Right? Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, front burner is um, this just came up. We're putting together a Roosevelt Dean. Awesome. birthday awesome. celebration uh, he's been gone since 09 yeah and uh truly the voice of syracuse uh, that was not by mistake he truly is the soul of this town musically yeah we are some interesting uh, stories about so oh there are many <laughs> that's another show yeah. um but at the end of the month then the end of july we're going to put that on awesome. and we're going to be partnering with a lot of folks in town to make it a very special thing carolyn kelly blues band okay carolyn kelly was all part of his band so wow. okay so that's coming up uh, make sure you invite us out there oh you're we're gonna be to you're gonna be on the a-list you know? oh you gotta check it oh. out we're on the a-list the a-list we're on a-list we're on a-list, <laughs> a-list. Hey, moving on up moving, moving on, on up there <laughs> so, last but not least, what's secondary? Yeah. What is going on? Uh, I've got a number of projects for the fall. The fall is going to be pretty busy. We have everything from a Christmas show. I'm working on uh, putting together a gospel rock project with local musicians. Mm. Um, gospel okay. music with more of a rock edge to it. Yeah. And okay. it's, it's pretty special. That's it's going to be pretty special. We actually have... Um, I don't know if you call him gospel or spiritual rapper. I don't know Andy Minio, which is he's probably one of the most successful rappers, but he's Christian rap. Christian rap. It's, it's all spiritual. It's really really lyrical. But um, he was actually he peaked at number two on the Billboard charts. How about that? That's you know, good. Grammy that's good week. news. That's excellent. Yeah, yeah. Grammy yeah. week. He got beat out by. Ryan Lewis and McNamara, yeah. but, you know, but it was Grammy. They happen. just won a Grammy. Yeah, yeah. 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 His twenty-seven thousand units was yeah. one enough. It wasn't enough, right? <laughs> well, thank you for coming out. My man. pleasure. Yeah. Thank you for having me. This has been awesome. Yeah, this is great. It goes by too fast. But. Definitely, eighteen minutes wasn't enough time. But sure. you know, I, I we do this thing called on location. So, oh yeah, you'll you'll catch us at your show. You just show up and. Well, we just got the in- invite to be on the A list. <laughs> we are on the A list. Oh, we're on the A list. Live in the box on location. We'll be there. Yeah, I'll get you good seats. That's what we do, man. Give me your website before we leave. Yeah. Livespaceentertainment.com. And we're working on it, so it's going to get better and better as we move along. Hey, but check us out on social media. You'll be able to find him and it. Yeah. Live from the box. Tom Honan, thank you very much for hanging out, man. Executive producer at Live Space Entertainment. We will be supporting the shows coming up, man. Hey, thank you all so much. Hey.